I think the big question is, how do we incorporate the use of dolbetoximab in the care of patients when nivolumab, at least in the United States, is approved for all comers in combination with chemotherapy? Um, I, um, we, we saw updated results uh, from Checkmate 649 study. Checkmate 649 was a phase three study that looked at the activity of nivolumab, which is anti-PD-1 agent, in combination with chemotherapy in first-line setting for gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma. And in this meeting, we saw um, results from this phase three study with longer follow-up. We saw three-year follow-up. And nivolumab is approved now in the United States for, um, for this disease. And now we've seen longer follow-up. And it was amazing to see that uh, we see over 20% survival at uh, three years, which is great. Um, so I think this is not um, really an update, but really a further support for the use of nivolumab for these patients. Uh, I think we use nivolumab primarily in patients who have tumors with PDL1 positivity or combined positive score five or greater. So the question will be, how do we pick which agent to use going forward between nivolumab and zolbituximab if zolbituximab gets approved in patients whose tumors have uh, expression of both biomarkers? I think as a community, we will need to learn and uh, learn how to prioritize and it'll be both efficacy and toxicity that will play a role. Uh, but also we will need to learn more about the overlap between pdl one expression and, and uh, clot 18.2 expression um, uh, to determine you know, will, there, will there actually be patients who are eligible for both.